today we're going to talk about vowels and consonants. We're going to talk about the different aspects of these letters. The vowels are always voiced, and let me explain what that means. At the back of our throat, we have our vocal cords, and they sometimes move or vibrate, and sometimes they do not. And so I show the children um, this, and I talk about how these are like your vocal cords, and they can move or they do not move. And what I mean about that is when I say the P sound, I go, feel a little bit of an airflow there, but my I do not feel a vibration right here. And you would have the children feel here to see that. But when I make the B sound, but there is a vibration, so that is voice. So the B is voice, but, and the P is unvoiced. And this is important because sometimes when you're spelling words, you some letters have a voice sound and an unvoiced sound. Or um, sometimes children confuse a letter because they think it's an unvoiced sound when it's really a voice sound. For instance, in the word ramble, they might spell it with a P because they don't didn't know there's really a difference here with these voiced and unvoiced sounds or in the words tips and runs. It's important to know that the S can make the S sound, and the reason why it's making the S sound is because this letter is unvoiced, and so is this sound, S. And so you have an unvoiced next to another unvoiced sound. Over here, because N is voiced, mm, you already have your voice box on, and that's going to cause this S to be voiced, runs. This would help them not to put a Z here to understand that S can make that Z sound. So that's why the importance of voice and unvoiced. Also, vowels are open. When I make the long sounds, my mouth is always open. A, E, I, O, U. When I make the short sound, my mouth is always open. A, E, I, A, A. But consonants can are always blocked by either my tongue, lips, or teeth. When I make the B sound, buh, my lips are blocking the sound. When I make the nasal, it's actually uh, nasal sounds like M and N, you actually are using your nose to make those, mm and mm, but I'm also using my lips. And when you make your uh, D sound, d, my tongue is touching the back of my teeth and blocking the sound. So as you can see, consonants are blocked or partially blocked when you make those sounds. Um, it's just important to know the difference between vowels and consonants and how they can be, um, the vowels are always voiced, the consonants are, um, can be voiced or unvoiced, the vowels are always open, but the consonants are blocked in some way. Thank you.